Here we are exiting the caves. So the best way to find these is searching in Cave Stream Center Reserve in Castle Hill on Google. What an amazing trip. About 600 meters long the cave system. Yeah. Took us about 40 minutes. I recommend three mates and some good head torches and you'll see yourself right. Massive thanks to Brent for taking us out to this wicked experience. The next day saw us heading down the river. Let's go and catch up with the boys and hit a river run. Drop tire pressures down here, down to about 25 to 20, just to make it a bit easier on the ride. Cruise up the river. We've got Albie there in front, hitting the bog. Now he has got 40 inch tyres and a compound set up TD42. Uh, the red girl though, she definitely doesn't mind getting her feet wet. And on 33s, I'm definitely going to see how it's going. Look at that, powering through it. Oh yeah, she doesn't mind getting her bonnet up the water. Now Cam did want to dive in all the big bogs throughout the river, so he has got 37s, but as you can see he's powering through it. Almost looks like it's a steaming beast with a horn sticking out the bonnet. Go the mighty 80! Nice. Now you may remember I mentioned in episode 1 about Cam having to hit every hole he could find. That one finally caught up on him. He <laughs> managed to get into this hole well deeper than he expected. Now you got to remember this truck has a 5 inch lift and 37s. And uh, yeah, him and Shoe's clothes may have got a little bit wet back there. <laughs> All part of the fun though. And as you can see the dogs are loving the water too. It was a magic day for it. Quick winch out 
and we're on the way. Cheers, Tom, for letting us use your dryer, mate. Guys can't go home with wet clothes. Sorry Joe, really didn't mean to splash you, winky face. Well at the end of the river, saw us up to the gorge, what a magic spot to stop for lunch. As you can see from the drone shots, it's picturesque up there. Really magic. Ever down these ways, definitely stop in while you can. Well, this saw Brent and Albi part ways, off into journeys of their own, and we started to head back down the river to camp out with Tom. After a magic night with Tom and the crew, around a great campfire and some fantastic food thanks to Sam, we had a mean cruise back up the river. As you can see we'll always love to have a bit of fun. For these tracks I definitely recommend a snorkel, now, it isn't needed, but definitely a recommendation if you wanted to get into some of the water and have a bit of a splash. Any sort of tyres with this terrain, a good all terrain or a muddy, definitely help out and I recommend about 20 psi to run over these rocks. Magic scenery, awesome backyard for Tom. And man, I'm possibly thinking about moving down there. If you're ever in the Christchurch region, I definitely recommend checking out a lot of the river tracks around these ways. It's magic. It's something you wouldn't have to get and do, and it's not too technical. It's something that most of us guys could have a go at and not be too scared about getting our feet wet. After exiting the river and saying goodbye to Tom, it was time to make our way up to Blenheim. As you can see, we found a magic camp spot outside Kaikoura, just on the seaside, next to the forest. For the last day in the South Island, I wanted to make the most of it and catch up with a good friend of mine, Mike Holmes. Welcome to Mount Riley. Everybody. Watch out, Holmes, we're coming for you, mate.
Got at home these competition highlights. His half competition, half doesn't know what it wants to be, Safari. Albie's out the gate, Safari, X School Racing Track. And the stage Safari right here. Yeah, look at these tyres. This saw us at the end of our journey. Washing down the trucks before we got on the ferry. One last day in the North Island before making it back to Auckland. Two weeks in the South Island, six and a half thousand Ks, all the way down to the bluff and everything in between. Definitely a trip I'll remember for a long time to come. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the journey with us. We definitely want you to subscribe to the channel so you can see more. Give the video a like, give us some feedback, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Massive thanks to Dachi, quality camping gear to handle your next overland adventure. Every off-road track and adventure requires quality vehicle protection and recovery gear. Thanks to our mates at Rock Armour, they had us covered. Cheers boys, see you in the next one.